All right, boys and girls, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Yay, I'm so excited to see you all. We're going to do a quick lesson. If you could give me about 15 minutes of your time, we're going to do a quick lesson today on identifying the main topic, okay? I'm going to share my screen. And what we're yeah. going to be doing today is identifying the main topic of text, okay? Well, how do, look at my essential question. How do I identify the main topic of text? Well, when you identify the main topic of text, you determine the main topic of the text. You should focus on the important and the related details or events in the text that support the main idea, okay? So I would like to start with a short video. Hey guys, welcome to this Metrics video over topics and main ideas. A topic is the word or phrase that everything in a text refers back to. See if you can guess the topic of these pictures. The topic is baseball. Now let's look for the topic in the text. Music can be an effective study tool. Some people say that music helps them to relax and to focus better. People listen to music for many other reasons as well. Music has been proven to produce serotonin, one of the so-called happiness hormones. The topic is music. A helpful way to identify the fact that my fox is going to be playing something. The word may not be repeated in every sentence, but oftentimes there will be a pronoun that. Hey, look how fat my fox is. For instance, I like to listen when I study. Music calms me down. Hey, look how fat this fox is. The first two sentences identify the topic. Music. Back to the topic. Some paragraphs, however, are not as blatant. Some can be more tricky. Sometimes an author will use different words for the same thing. If you are studying for test day, Mometrics is the best way. This company specializes study material that help equip you with the knowledge you need and help you in testing. Millions of students have used this resource to help them succeed on their Mometrics. Even though the word is only stated once, the topic is repeated, but a different word is used to refer to the same thing. Once you found the topic of the paragraph, you can then find the main idea. This may be a helpful way to help you identify the main idea. Topic plus main point about the topic equals main idea. Music can be an effective study tool. Some people say that it helps them to relax and to better focus on what they're learning. Some studies show that many students actually perform better when they listen to artists like Beethoven and Mozart while studying. The topic is music. The main point about the topic, music can be an effective study tool. Notice that topics are expressed as words or phrases, but main ideas are expressed in sentences. Physical activity provides innumerable benefits. Consistent exercise alleviates symptoms of depression. Studies show that consistent exercise results in not only less time to fall asleep in sounder sleep cycles, but also less daytime drowsiness. Additionally, an improved cardiovascular system and increased endorphins stimulate the mind for more creative thoughts to flow. The topic is physical activity. The main idea is physical activity provides innumerable benefits. In many paragraphs, the first sentence states the main idea. When the author states the main idea, it's called an explicit main idea. But the main idea is not always in the first sentence. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's, oh, it's just a leaf. What does that mean? It's autumn. Autumn or fall marks the transition from summer to winter. There are several different ways to recognize this transition without looking at the calendar. For instance, if the leaves start to change colors and fall off, this is a good marker that it is autumn. The temperature in many parts of the world will also start to drop. 
In this paragraph, the first sentence is not the main idea. So let's look at the topic. We know that the topic is autumn because it is repeated and everything is referring back to it. Autumn or fall marks the transition from summer to winter is the main idea. This sentence includes the topic and it also makes a main point about the topic. It may seem a little silly that the sentence that states the main idea is called the topic sentence, but that's just the way it is. Always remember to find the main idea, figure out the topic first, then look for a sentence that states a main point about the topic, like the formula I gave you earlier, topic plus main point about the topic equals main idea. I hope this was helpful. For further help, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking right here. See you next time. Now, thank you boys and girls. Now you will see that the main topic is very similar to the main idea. So once you see what is the main thing that this passage or the text is actually talking about, what's the main thing? And there you can find your main idea. And the main idea will be definitely supported by details in the story. Well, let's look at five easy steps to find the topic. Step number one, look at different text features. Like what is the title of the passage? Yes, what pictures do you have? Faith, mute your device, please. Thank you. What, look at the title. What type of features do you have in this text? What is the title? What are the headings? What are the key pick, uh, bold words? What do the, are there any pictures or visuals within that text? So looking at your text features off the bat. Number two, look at that first line or either that topic sentence. Does the first line tell you what this topic of the passage just might be about? Three, any words that repeat, repetitive words. Are there any words that repeat in the passage? There might be. That could tell you what your topic would be. Next, number four, last line. Look at the last line. What is the conclusion? Do you have, looking at that conclusion, will it tell you what your topic could be? And number five, support topic with different details. So your topic will be supported by different details in the text. Okay, we're gonna practice and then we'll read our story for today. Let's practice. Text features. Are there any text features here? Right now, I don't see a title. I don't see a heading. So we're good. So let's look at what's first, okay? Let's read. All animals have some sort of covering all over their bodies. Animals have furs, I mean, have feathers, scales, fur, or skin. Their animal coverings protect their insides from bacteria, air, water, heat, and cold temperatures. Hmm, that was just the first paragraph. Looking at the first line, am I able to think what this passage just might be about? I don't know. What do you think, Levi? Do you think you can tell me what you might think this passage will be about just from looking at the first paragraph or the first sentence? Levi, can you unmute? What do you think? I can't hear you, Levi. You're muted. Unmute just for a second. What about you, Faith? It sounds like they're about animals. Okay, so ha, huh, you saw the word animals. And what about animals? What part, what, what about them? They're what? What do you think, Faith? And it was talking about like, like scales and all that on Very the good. animals. Just looking at that first sentence, you will see that it's about animals and like their scales, anything that covers them. Okay, let's keep reading. So let's look at step number, first text features, then first. Let's look at anything that repeats, repetition. Birds have feathers as their coverings. The feathers are attached as the, at, to their skin. 
Feathers help to keep them warm and water from penetrating their skin. Ducks can float on water in ponds while keeping their skin from getting wet because of their feathers. All reptiles have scales as their animal covering. The scales protect the skin from being easily damaged. Their scales also protect their bodies from the harsh heat of the sun. Just like regular skin, reptile scales can fall off and peel as they grow. Fish also have scales. Those, their scales protect them as well from hard and rough objects underwater. Animals with fur covering have soft, thick patches of fluffy hair. The fur protects their skin from cold temperatures. Animals can molt their fur in the summer months so that they do not overheat. In the winter months, furry animals grow thick furs to keep them warm. Hmm, do you see anything that's repeated? Jason. Can you unmute your device? What things do you hear that's repeated paragraph after paragraph after paragraph? Um, it is. What do you hear that's repeated? Now, we know that Faith already told me it could be about animals. Yes. Anything else that's repeated in each paragraph? Feathers. Okay, feathers. What else? Help me out, Nolan. Unmute your device and help Jason out. Their fur protects their skin from cold and hot temperatures. Okay, so feathers, fur. What about you? What about Jason? What what else did you have to share? Skin. Say it again, Jason. Skin. Oh, so it's the animal skin. So you see skin that's repeated. Okay, let me call on one more person. Um, Kylie, what do you hear that is repeated after e in each paragraph? Kylie, unmute your device. Um, so we know it's about animals. What do you what do you know about animals that's repeated in each paragraph? They're what? Like Jason said, their skin or their what? Or they are um what was my or they are um, for the embarrassment. Was she praying? Okay, so we know that their skin or their what? It's one more word there that situation? starts with a C that's in there that's repeated. Uh, C? Yeah, that's repeated in that first up. sentence of each paragraph. It talked about this for the birds, this for the reptiles, and this for animals in the winter. Their what? Not just their skin, but their what, Kylie? So this picture the scene, my abuela walking around in the church with all of these people. Okay, well, let's see if we can find it in that last paragraph, okay? Kylie, mute your device, please. And we're gonna finish up with this paragraph. Animals with skin have the least amount of protection for their organs and bones from the sun and rough, hard objects. This means that animals with a skin covering are more vulnerable to the heat of the sun and very cold temperatures, okay? So we know, Anthony, can you help me? We know, go ahead, Anthony, unmute. We know that if I had to pick a topic, Anthony, this is about, this whole topic is about what? What is this passage about? Animals. Animals. What about animals? They're what? They talk about it. Say it again, Anthony. They talking about it. It's talking about it, but what is it talking about? It's talking about their feathers that cover uh, them. The reptiles have scales that cover them. Some animals have fur that cover them. So it's talking about animals, but what about the animals? Things that what? That uh, they do. 
that they're doing? But more specifically, what about the animals? What about the animals? Who can tell me? Caroline, let me call on Caroline. What, Caroline? What about the animals? Not just specifically what they're doing, they're what? Their skin. Yes, that what covers them, just like Jason said. So it's their coverings, very good. Text features, so the key is here, boys and girls, you have to look at their text features. Did the title give us any clues? We didn't see a title. Well, look at that first line or the first paragraph. It instantly gave us in that topic sentence what this was gonna be, be about, animal coverings. And then were there any words that were repeated? They repeated animals a lot. They repeated coverings a lot, very good. And in that last line, the conclusion or that concluding paragraph, did it give us any clues? And then are there any supporting details? that actually will support my topic. So we know it talked about animals, skin or coverings. What did it say about reptiles? Reptiles have what, Skylar? What's the detail? Reptiles have what? Reptiles have what? A reptile. Let's go back. Reptiles have what on their covering? Well, let me ask you another one. What do birds have on their skin? Tyler, birds have what? Nolan, can you help me? What do birds have? Feathers. Feathers, very good. What do reptiles have? Nolan, what do reptiles have? Think about a reptile, think about a fish. They have scales. They have scales. Yeah, they have scales. And then what about animals in the winter? During the winter time, they have what to cover their skin? Fur. Fur, very good. So those supporting details actually supported my topic. Excellent job. Boys and girls, y'all are doing so good. Now, one last thing, I just wanna share a little bit of my book and then we're done. Okay, are y'all with me? Give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs up. All right. Now, I want to share just a little bit of my book, Mae Jemison. We're gonna, I'm reading Mae Jemison because of course this is Black History Month and I just wanted to share a historical figure with you for Black History Month. Mae Jemison, let me go back to the title. Mae Jemison, doctor, scientist, and astronaut. Flying into space. Mae Jemison was very excited. Her dream was coming true. May was getting ready to fly into space. May's life. May was born in Alabama. Her family moved to Chicago when she was three. May loved science. May, I mean, she also loved to dance. May danced with shoes like this. So what type of shoes are these? Jalea, do you know? What type are they? Jalea, unmute your device for me. Ballerina shoes. Very good. So she loved doing ballerina dances. Very good. In college, May did all the things that she liked. She did science. She became a doctor and she kept dancing. May went to school here. May wanted to help people. After she became a doctor, she went to Africa. She helped sick people there. In the picture, May is a doctor. Then May went to NASA. She wanted to be an astronaut. NASA only takes the best people and May was one of the best. 
On September the 12th, 1992, May flew into space. She was with six others. May was the first African-American woman in space. The astronauts were in space for eight days. May did tests. She learned what happens to human bodies in space. After May left NASA, she was a teacher. She also started a science camp. May wanted all kids to learn about science. May still loves space travel. She hopes that people will be people will be able to, um, to go even deeper into space. She is working hard to make that dream come true. Did you know that she was born October the 17th, 1956? Her family, Dorothy is her mother, Charlie is her father, Ada is her sister, Charles is her brother. When she was a kid, she went to the library a lot. You guys do too, don't you? And she loved learning about the stars. Special facts, she was once on a TV show. And May says, the thing that I have done throughout my life is to do the best job that I can and to be me. The end. Well, boys and girls, I want to thank you for coming with me. I know. Thank you, boys and girls. Now, you're welcome. Our skill for the, today was how to find the main topic of multiple passages or multiple paragraphs within a text. Remember, text features. You need to see if there are any features in that text that you might need to see, like the title, the headings, any words, any pictures. Two, step number two, look at what's first. Look at the first paragraph or the first sentence. Step three, any words repeat. Anything, any repetition of anything you see over and over and over. Step four, what is the last sentence or that last paragraph? that's gonna conclude everything and summarize it. You may see that topic there. And five, what details support that main topic? Okay, remember those five easy steps and you guys should be good to go. Well, I am going to stop recording.